Ty, just down the stretch, you guys are are in competitive games all of a sudden again after not being in competitive games for a while. Um, are you learning through this process, even though you're taking some lumps against some teams like this? Yeah, for sure. I think you take everything as kind of a learning experience and um, just, you know, kind of figuring out things, as, you know, game management stuff, um, you know, through, throughout these games and, you know, just taking every every night as a learning experience for sure. Ty, how, how, how difficult was it to just find a rhythm in this game for you guys overall? It was ugly early. I think we went to halftime like 45 points, um, but... I thought I thought we had a little spark in the third, and that kind of carried us to the second half. And Fox got going, and um, you know I started to make some shots. So uh, I thought that that got us going. And uh, yeah, it was just it was it was bad early. Um, you know I think he, I think you know we had a, obviously had a game yesterday, but no excuse. Like we're, we're professionals, so we just we just got to be better to to start games. Yeah, I know it's been kind of the theme over the past few, really a better part of the month, which is COVID and these teams that are depleted. But on your guys' end, is there a a pressure that comes with trying to take down a team that's without so many players on their roster? Nah, I mean, I think when teams are missing guys, I think um, similar to what we were like when we were missing players, like you don't know what to expect, you know, from, from dudes, you know, guys are playing free, you know, guys are getting opportunities that they, you know, don't normally get. So, um, you know, they're making making plays, but like you said, I feel like we haven't beat a team this season when they're missing, you know, their best player. and. Uh, you know, that's an indictment on us. That That's, you know, completely on us, and we just got to be better. Ty, I just want to get your thoughts on uh, Kevin Herta, uh, who came off the bench with 25 and 11, and hit some uh, big-time shots in uh, the fourth quarter. Just wanted to get your thoughts on, you know, how he was uh, playing against you guys tonight. Yeah, I mean, he got in a rhythm early. Uh, we let him get a couple easy ones, a couple easy looks at the basket. Um, you know, we're NBA players, and, uh, you know, you let a guy like that get, get easy ones early. He gets going and, um, you know, starts to make a lot of tough shots down the stretch, all based on how you let him start the game. So, uh, but kudos to him. He made a lot of, a lot of, a lot of good plays tonight and uh, had a good game. Hey, Ty, uh, you know, another loss at home. Why do you guys think you can't seem to get it together here? And that Alvin talked about this too in the earlier about, you know, protecting home court. So why do you think this continues to be an issue here? I mean, I think it's just an issue everywhere. Like, I mean, we're losing everywhere, you know, so um, we just got to figure it out. Um, I think obviously, you know, we were depleted with, with you know, with with, uh, with COVID and things like that early in December where we had a lot of home games that month, not using that as an excuse by any means. Um, but, um, you know, just getting getting the rhythm and, and things like that. And we just, we're just not playing well. I guess all that's, that's all that's to it. It's, it's on us more than it's on, you know, who we're playing against. Ty, you and uh, Fox both got to got over twenty tonight. Um, it, you know, and he we've seen kind of that fourth quarter mentality from him in a few games recently. What what are you seeing like from him and and um, amongst the two of you in terms of just sort of figuring out where that that give and take is? Yeah, you know, he's just making a lot of plays down the stretch. Um, you know, that's what he does, and you know he's a. You know he's our guy. He's a great basketball player, so uh, we trust him to make plays down the stretch. And uh, he's trusting me to, you know, when when he's a little tired or you know, just you know, just take a possession, you know, kind of breathe. I, I can see that, and he kind of lets me get it and lets me go as well. So um, it's all about just figuring each other out. You know, obviously we're young, we're a young backcourt, so you know, we're just learning each other every day. Hey, Ty, hope you're doing well. Those back-to-back -back games and that those two performances against the Lakers and tonight, what it speaks about the, for you guys energy-wise? Uh, I thought the energy yesterday was good. Um, you know, they they made a lot of plays down the stretch. Brown got going and um, they, they they made plays. But I thought energy just for pretty much the first half today was was god awful. Um, you know, we were a lot better in the second half, but uh, I just thought energy coming out was poor, and I don't know I, I don't know the reason. Uh, by any means, but I just think our energy wasn't wasn't good in the first half, and um, you know, the second half we started to make some shots, started to make some plays, and I, and I, and you know, started to get going a little bit. But it's got to be that way. We just have to start and finish quarters well, um, and everything else will take care of itself. So we just got to do better, you know, beginning and uh, any ending quarters, and same, you know, throughout the game. 